M0FXP, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to add the Shark RF link to your iPhone. Now, I'm finding that it makes the phone get hot and the screen's not very responsive. So I'm not sure if they've got some more work to do. I'll email Shark RF, but click open and then it searches. It does eventually, it's quite slow, find your, your OpenSpot 3. And if it doesn't, you can click manual add and put in the number on the back of your OpenSpot, which looks like, like that. It's the UID number. I mean, this is an iPhone 8 Plus. It could be that the phone's a bit old and it's not really coping with it well. But once you get it, the interface you'll then get, just to remind you, with the OpenSpot 4, you can, 4 Pro, you can actually PTT without a radio. You've always been able to listen on the OpenSpot 3, but you couldn't PTT. But they've done it so that you now can. So that's the Pro model. But anyway, so we'll, this, we're back on my Android thing. We're going to show you what it looks like when it's running. I mean, it's identical interface. So once you get it, you click plus and it will add it onto your, you know, devices. And then you push this little TV screen here. Like I said, it's not very responsive, really. Oh, it's better now. I used it on the PC. And then you've got your normal Shark RF shortcut, really, that you then can control everything on the open spot. Quick, you know, quick connect like we're on the ft5 here c4 fm ysf reflecto and it will cross mode with the open spot 3 the open spot 4 does cross mode but it doesn't do d star and then connect open spot connected to ysf reflector 2779 so there you are i thought i'd show you what it looks like on the iphone which is pretty identical to the Play Store, it's just that you go to the App Store, not the Play Store. Bye for now, 7 free.